welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Day Day, the mom. The mom, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing amazing because I am doing great. Some of you guys have seen me for the first time after a long time. I told you guys in my living room makeover that I was expecting another baby. And so that's why you see me all swollen and missing. But anyway, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen today. And this is my dream kitchen, guys. <laughs> I've never had this big of a kitchen. And um, I've, we've been in this house for two years. So today, I'm taking you guys around this kitchen. I'll show you guys mainly the drawers, how I organize my drawers. Being an African woman living in the United States, sometimes it can be challenging because when we were back home, we had a lot of storage space for our food, spoons, and we had a lot of things. And bigger families. But here, things are a little different. So I have, I think I have, I don't know, figured out ways to organize like my drawers and, you know, spicy drawers especially, guys. And I'll show you guys a tour around this kitchen. Um, so if you guys love this video, please, please stay tuned, watch, share, comment, like and tell me something nice in the comment section. So tell me something nice in the comment section. I would love to see it. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is organizing your kitchen island. I have this big island, which is kind of two levels. I have this space here where people sit. I will show you guys. Um, but I just have a little bit going on here. So I have this florals. Um, and it's like a floral jar because it's the fall season and I just displayed some beautiful florals on the island and then I have um, this little tissue dispenser which I got from Amazon and I have a beautiful candle here um, which is really nice so this is all I have on the island for now and I feel like it gives it a lot of space. So yeah, you guys tell me what you think about my island. So the next space is this beautiful station where my kids eat. My daughter has this table. Look, it's I can see how well used it is. Um, it is already old and she's been telling me she thinks she needs a new one. This is for my boy. This is so used. You can see how, I don't know, it looks very used. And then they have their water pitchers here. So yeah, um, I use this to keep them in one place. This is where they sit. Mostly when they're watching the iPads, they're eating snacks food whatever not to say they don't sit on the breakfast area to eat with us but usually they sit here very very often and they like it because they each have their own space and nobody is meddling with the other so yeah I want to talk about is this other space it's like at an angle and um, here I start by keeping my remote for the light I have this light which I can switch off um, or on and I can change the settings you can change the, the brightness or the kind of light you want warm cold <laughs> yeah so I have this space here and I have my cooking oil um, I don't use olive oil a lot. I just use my cooking oil and I also have vinegar here Which I can use on the go. But yeah, and then I have this beautiful floral arrangement Which I really really like as well So you guys tell me if you like this little space and I just keep this remote here So I can hide it from the rest. It doesn't change the aesthetics of the kitchen so I just want to keep a beautiful aesthetic in the kitchen but make it very functional now the extra cooking oil if you want to ask me where is your extra cooking oil I put it in the pantry but today I'm not going to be showing you all um, my pantry 
so yeah so the next place I want to talk about is going to be this little station that is also a decorative station but a very useful station um, I'm going to use have this little mortar and pistol this represents me being an African I do not have a grinding stone and usually we grind our spices in there like our hot pepper but because I don't have that I'm going to put like my hot spicy or pepper here like habanero and when I put it in here I just mix it up here and then I use it to cook so that is what it is it is also decorative but it's very useful for me being an African woman who has to chop some spices before cooking so I always just keep it right here I have this little cookbook sincerely I do not use this book as much I'm looking for another African book because I do not eat a lot of American food so whatever is here the things that are here I cannot really relate a lot to but I have this book and this little stamp that I got from Amazon the book is from Amazon as well and then I have this DIY um, little what is this like a tray I DIY'd it and added the gold to it but this is how I got it from home goods and I really like it it's very beautiful this is also from home goods I think hold on I don't see the price but I think it's from home goods and this is from home goods as well and these two are from Amazon So as for this spot here, this is like my cook stove, as you all can see, this is where I cook and make my food, but then when I'm not cooking, which is like once or which is like <laughs> a few hours because I cook practically every day or every other day, like every day I use the stove, there's never a day that's going to pass by without me using this stove. So when I'm not cooking like right now, I just want to have like a staged home, I put it here. But when I'm cooking, I take it out and usually I put this fruit bowl on the other side and I'll show you guys in a minute where I put it. But I usually put this bowl on the other side, which is closer to where the kids can actually access because we always have fruits, we always have fruits here. We've run out, so I need to replenish. But as you can see, everything is gone. But it's always, always on my countertop. So yeah. This is one of those. It's just a display for now, but yeah. <laughs> then the next spot, which is the most, not the most, but which is one of the most exciting spots in this house is this breakfast area. So I use this section every single morning. This is what I use every day to warm up my child's breakfast before or cook my child's breakfast before he can go to school without this i cannot have a good morning because my child is going to be moody all day so this is what i use daily and i use it to make my coffee as well as you can see this is the coffee maker i love it so much i use it often but not as often as this so i'll tell you that i use my coffee maker but i don't use it as often as this little water jar warmer i don't know how you call it but it's like a water pitcher but it's also a jar an electric cooker or electric water boiler is that what they call it guys i don't know but i use it a whole lot and this is the coffee station as i said oh sorry this is the coffee maker as i said and then on this little station i have my coffee so we do instant coffee from cameroon but i also Oh, every now and then use the coffee maker for coffee but I'm still very used to my Nescafe that I always drank in my country and for now because I am prego and I am not very much a caffeine person so I but I love the sense of it I used to drink caffeine a lot when I was working as a nurse a lot so but no longer um, now I just drink the decaf and then this is my sugar and this is our milk it's actually finished but i usually i will replenish it today because if it's finished i need to replenish it right we use this a lot this is the milk that we use we do not use the liquid milk like in america we use our powder milk like the one that from back home so yeah 
this is my little station here and then this is the scoop that i use all of this and then i have my little posters here um and then i have my remote for this section there Ta -da! so yeah so moving over to this side of the kitchen this is the lower side of my um of my countertop so this is the bottom side this is pretty much where i use very often over there is where i have the florals and the tissue but i use this side very much often because i wash dishes here and this is usually where the fruit basket stays so i would always put it here i just usually put it here um, when i am using the kitchen but or when i'm using the stove rather so i always put it here when i'm using the stove but this is what i do here um, when i'm not i just decorate it in a little way that i can on this side you can see i have my little hand soap dispenser and a dish soap i got this set from amazon and i really really like it i love it a lot a whole lot I just want to mention something about my sink so when you come here and you look at my sink you think i really don't use it but i do because you'll be i have the dish soap and the hand soap and then um, when i'm done i just have this little um like where i put a washcloth or my sponge to scrub my dishes i just have it right here and i hide it just here and yeah we're good to go and it just push it all the way down and I have a sink that you don't know that I use because I'm done washing dishes. So yeah. Other thing that I have is this little drying rack. So I usually put it here um, when I just want to dry things real quick. And I have two of these, not this exact one, but I'll show you the other drying rack that I have. So I use this drying rack and I use this drying basket when I want to dry things really quickly and take them back to the cabinet. So this is the second drying um, basket that I have or a drying rack. So these are the things that I use very often. So I want them to dry real quick without pushing the, putting them in the dishwasher. So yeah. Over to my cabinets. The first cabinet I want to show you guys is going to be this one. Um, where I put my, I don't know, uh, my dishes and things that I use a lot you know <laughs> so i have this area here and um, here i have like wine glasses that i use all the time here we have our daily glasses um here we have extra tea cups apart from just the one that is down in the coffee station and here we have our plates and bowls that we use daily so I've tried to limit the amount of things and then create space for more like stuff that are still dirty. You can see I have some things in the dishwasher. So you can see that I have space for those that are not here. I have my daily glasses, what we use daily. Here I have um, dishes that we use to store like food or serve food um, and here as well. And over here I have the kids um, plates and bowls so this is what they use to eat every day and sometimes they use our bowls but they use those more often because they are known breakable right so yeah i have those i'm just trying to show you guys reality this is like my reality no filter <laughs> and then i have space here room to grow room for more some things are in the dishwasher i just put as i go sometimes this goes here it just doesn't matter i put it as i want to um yeah so this is what i have so far you guys tell me what you think about my space so i use this um little what do they call it tauntable um display because you can see that my spices bottles are very big and so here this is like hot barbecue spice is super hot this one is hot barbecue spice It's super hot very nice and our fish spices uh, my bongo spice bongo chubby <laughs> it's a meal in my country very black and very tasty so and then we have the garlic bush pepper ground country onion 
I just have the spices that look the same together. And then on this side, I have like some spices that are from here. Most of these ones are spices that I got from here. Most of these are spices that I got from Cameroon. And then I also have this side, some of the spices. Most of them I got from here. What couldn't fit this way, I brought it this way. So, yep, it's easy for me. I try to use the stackable ones, but because these are so big, um, the higher it is, it cannot fit. So these ones work better for me. Yeah, um, and this is what I have on the other side. So basically, this is where I put my spices. And of course, it's working for me. It's just working fine. Over to drawers. I have this drawer here, which is like my utensil drawer, where I have my spoons, my forks, and table knives. Not all the knives are here. And then I have some of these that help me in the kitchen to cook. Um, and what I do is on the front part of it, I don't know if you guys can see right here, on the front part of it, I put the spoons for the kids because they can easily reach it. And on the back, I put like bigger spoons for adults. So yeah, um, this front, I just have the kids stuff right all the way on the front here. And then on the back, I have what adults use most often so yeah um you guys tell me if this is something that is going to work for you so the next drawer i'm going to talk about today is the drawer where i put most of my ziplock bags and uh, my cloth my washcloths and you know um just napkins so this drawer is very useful and whatever thing I hold, use to hold my pots, they're all in here because they are very close to the cook area. So I just turn around, I pull out whatever I need to clean and um, hold the pots, whatever. So here, since I bought this set, um, where was this from? I think I bought it from Sam's Club. Since I bought this set, I haven't replaced it with the other ones that I see, the fancy ones, because this has been working just fine for me and it has not really gotten wet and dirty. So I like it so far and it's been working magic for me until it gets broken. I'm not going to fix it, right? <laughs> and the next drawer we're going to talk about today is this drawer where I put my wooden stuff, um, everything, most of what is in here is wooden and my lighters. So I have like this wooden kitchen thing. I think my husband gave me this as a gift sometime. Maybe it was a Mother's Day gift with some other things. But yeah, um, this, but yeah, this is, this is what my husband gave me. And then I have all other chopping boards in here. Um, and then I have my wooden spoons in here. I have, uh, whisks in here as well. I have my whisks in here. And, and then what else? I have my lighters in here, my different type of lighters in here. So I have this food wrap in here all the way to the front because we make fufu a lot and I use this to wrap my fufu. So yeah, this is what I have for this drawer. You guys tell me your thoughts about this last but one drawer is more like a knife drawer and then I also have my cooking spoons in here um, yeah another whisk is actually here because it could fit and mostly the cooking spoons and the knives I just have this organizer that I use to put my knives in I got this organizer from oh what was this from home goods but the, it is on Amazon I can link it down for you and last but not least drawer is this drawer where I have my, um, uh, what do we call this? My charger plates, guys. I'm already tired. I've been talking a lot. My charger plates. I have some napkin rings that I use sometimes to set up um, our breakfast area when we're not using it. We have some extra coasters here. Um, we have essential. I have my most used essential oils in here. I have some napkins in here. And then of course, I have my table mats in here. So that is what this drawer is all about. I 